Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher. One more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister Carrie Ann and Yesaya the Christ. Yesaya the Messiah, Yesaya of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher. And the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yesaya. I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings to the 12 scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. So I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites scattered to the four corners of the earth all over. In the diaspora, I greet you all in the matchless name of our soon coming King, Yesiah the Christ, and to the beautiful body of Christ, the church, whom our great King is coming back for without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. I greet you all in his glorious name, Yesiah the Christ. All right, you can skip this bit and find the main message. I am going to do some housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Carrie Ann. It is in solid gray border with a tick by the side of my name. Anybody else pretending to be me is a wicked, dirty demon. You need to rebuke and report them. Please watch a video to the end. Sometime I do this in a sprite if, if, if I've got the time. If not, check the description box. If you are unsaved, if you do not know Yesiah, hallelujah, as the Lord and Savior, please check the description box or I leave a little sinner's prayer. You can repeat it. And believe and call on the name of Yesiah the Christ. Some people call him Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's fine. I call him Yesiah. I call him by Hebrew, by his Hebrew name. Call on his name and you shall be saved. Hallelujah. And give your heart and walk right before the king. All right. Um. Uh, thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for sharing the videos. Thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for going in the comment sections and communicating with brothers and sisters. Really, really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so very, very much, brothers and sisters, for that. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Um, those of you who are brand new to the channel, I welcome you. I pray that this will be the channel of the prophetic for you brothers and sisters just hold on one second hold on yes i pray that this channel will be the channel of the prophetic for you where we will grow hallelujah we will grow together in the in prophecies um and know what is going on what the most high is saying to the church hallelujah all right uh thank you for those beautiful beloveds in the most higher who have blessed me through paypal really 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 appreciate it um a beautiful beloved contacted me this morning says it's a Korean um your paypal look at your paypal i think something you were wrong with it and i went and i checked and i fixed it so my paypal is up and running it's absolutely fine um so if you want to bless me through that you can go ahead and do so if not i still love you just the same and everything is okay all right also i have a little project in the form of um go fund me i will leave the link in the description box in the pin comment section have a little read if your heart tells you um to bless then do it if not again you know prophecies on this this channel is not money orientated brothers and sisters whether you give or not you will still get the prophecies it's just that's it because i work for the savior and um, some people will say to me oh sister karen so why do you ask it's not that i'm asking it's that that it's just that i get email from time to time where some brothers and sisters over the years this is just this is not a one-off over the years and they say sister karen we would like to bless you can we have your paypal can we have this can we have that so that's the case i just put it in the description box so those who want to give just search the description box or the pin comment sections all right so that's what it is brothers and sisters all right we are near we're not only near to the returning of the beautiful glorious messiah Yeshua the christ but we're also near to the revealing of the lawless one the dirty antichrist please understand daniel chapter 7 verse 25 will be fulfilled where satan through the antichrist will seek to change times laws and seasons it will be given to him and also brothers and sisters yes i says pray to be found worthy i believe he's talking about the woman in revelation 12 with the 12 stars in her head the 12 stars on the woman's head represents the 12 seed of jacob the sons of jacob the remnant of jacob that went through the transatlantic slavery that is the reason why you see the woman fleeing with the 12 stars because there is going to be a 
second worldwide exodus. Just like Moses' first exodus, but it is going to be on a much larger scale because the highest people, the 12 scattered tribe, are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth through the transatlantic slavery. And the most that high is going to regather that remnant. People say to me, Sister Carrie Ann, I don't believe you because in 1948, they said God went down into Europe and told the Europeans to go back to their homeland, Israel. That is not true. It is not biblical because for, for starters, Europeans are from the Caucasus mountain. That is why they're called Caucasians. Anyone that is called Caucasian is from the Caucasus mountain. This is research. You can go and check it out. It is truth. All right. So to say that, you know, God is going to bring these people back to their homeland. That is not true. So we know that the 12 tribe of Yeshahel, the 12 tribe of Jacob, amen, that has been hurt, harmed, scattered, dispersed throughout the four corners of, four corners of the earth, a higher is going to regather them through the great worldwide second exodus that is who the woman represents after the second exodus then the sixth seal opens that is Yesiah hallelujah coming in the clouds of glory people said Jesus is coming any day any minute no not true second exodus must it has to happen first without the second exodus Bible I don't know who is that standing up there because I ain't going with him or whosoever it may be the second exodus must the woman in revelation 12 must flee she must flee she must flee into the wilderness brothers and sisters i'm telling you so you know you have to understand scriptures and understand bible understand the end times and where we are so that you, you don't get deceived and you can fit things appropriately so right after our second exodus six seal opens up um prophetic theme song so prophetic banner is called we are near because we are near it's not only a slogan we are near brothers and sisters and the prophetic theme song is called we are near and the song goes like this how now you are on now you are on now you are on now oh now you are on now you are Oh, now you are, oh, now. Hallelujah. Yes, we are near, and we can sing that song with right confidence. All right, I have two ministries, one for the end time prophetic and one for the Hebrew. Yashahelai. Hi, guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to share a very, very powerful prophetic vision. Prophetic vision that the Most High Yah gave me on the 31st of July, 2021. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. What I'm about to say to you, what I'm about to share to you in this vision, it will come to pass. It will 150%, sorry, just don't get this camera right. It will 150% come to pass. The Lord showed me, I have to be, oh Lord, how can I say this, Father? Okay. The Lord showed me lots of people going to their local doctors and physician for a antifungal tablet okay a antifungal tablet and in in, that, in in fact the two tablets that was mentioned in my vision they're both the same really one is called lamas um lamasil or terbinafin terbinafin or la lamasil lamasil rather those are antifungal medication and lots of people were going to the doctors to get this fungal tablets because all of a sudden brothers and sisters my god on their skin was just breaking out fungus all over their body was just fungus brothers and sisters and i saw up close and, and personal um someone's skin who had this fungus going on and when the fungus started brothers and sisters it was only if for, for those of you it looks like 
ringworm. For those of you who have had ringworm, I've had ringworm before in the past because in the Caribbean you're more susceptible, susceptible to ringworm because you play in the water, sometimes it's dirty and all of that. And you catch it from children and all of that. So I know what ringworm is like, I, you know, because I said I've had it before. But, you know, when I saw this ringworm, brothers and sisters, it was only a small, less than a five pence piece. Very, very tiny. And the person didn't take too much notice of it because, you know, it's just only so small. But then all of a sudden, brothers and sisters, <laughs> across, across the person's abdominal, you know, these people that I saw, when I saw their abdominal area, it was almost, it started out like shingles. I don't know if you, you know what shingles look like. That, that bubbly, blistery type chicken poxy, <laughs> sorry, type skin condition. And it was just all across this person's belly or the people that I was seeing. And then the Lord showed me how the formation of this fungus started. Brothers and sisters, when I looked at this person's skin, underneath the skin was like something was just bubbling. You could see the normal skin color because it wasn't blistering yet. Because you know when it's blistering, it looks like a water bug. But you could see this person's skin color, but underneath the skin color was a lump. It was coming out. And when it eventually come to the surface of the skin, it looks like a blister. And when it eventually bursts, brothers and sisters, that is when it turns into ugh, this fungus growing on the skin. It was absolutely horrid. People were just in shock. They were crying. I mean, in the vision, in my spirit, because... The two medications that came to me, the two antifungal medications, the terbinafin and the lamacil that came in my spirit, brothers and sisters, right? I knew in my heart that they weren't going to work. Because I knew what causes the skin reaction that they were having. I know what was causing it. I can't say it here. But I know what was going I know exactly what was going on and I felt so hopeless because in terms of the only thing that I in the vision that I could do is pray because what was manifesting on their body was so demonic and wicked this is coming brothers and sisters I, I when the Lord showed it to me up close in person and the description so like I say I'm going to describe it one more time it started off all right like a little tiny um ringworm that's how it looked like a little ringworm and then in more details it, it just went all across the the tummy the abdominal area it just looks like it started like blisters blisters on top of the skin with liquid inside of it but when the formation when it's forming the lord show me when it's forming it, the natural skin color is there, whether you're white or you're black or you're mixed race, whatever color you may be. Your natural skin color, but the thing, the lesion that's coming up underneath the, state, underneath the skin is like a little mountain. But your skin color is still there. And when it eventually breaks through the skin, it looks like a water bubble with fluid, brown, brown fluid inside of it. And when it eventually bursts, brothers and sisters, that is when it forms into fungus on the skin, like ringworm. Horrible. Horrible. And like I say, the two antifungal that I saw in the vision were so vivid. The Lord named the, the tablets that these people are going to go for. It's not going to help. It's not going to help. Because we know what we know the reason why these people are having this fungal infection on their skin. We know the reasons, brothers and sisters. We know. And it's coming. It is coming. The description that the Lord showed me in the vision was so, was so clear. Was so clear, brothers and sisters, in the vision that the Lord showed it to me.
What can you do? What can you say? More than just pray. Prayer is the key. Prayer, prayer is the key for everything. Amen. Prayer is the key for everything and we must not give up hope. These things has to be. I've always said to you, brothers and sisters, please read, please read St. Matthew 24. St. Matthew 24, in St. Matthew 24, Jesus Christ describes uh, pestilences. He describes it. He talks about it in the end times. And this is what's happening, brothers and sisters. We are in the end times. And we have to just come to the re realization that this world, this wicked fallen world will come to an end. It has to. And the Most High Yah is going to bring in his millennium kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. After Christ's millennium kingdom, Satan, well, he's going to be destroyed anyway. But he will never, ever, ever, well, it's really silly for me to say because he's going to go to hell. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth, his kingdom is going to be the last kingdom on earth. No more after him. Hallelujah. What a, what a blessing. What an, what an assurance. There's a song that says, Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Here's a salvation. Purchase of God. Born of his spirit. And washed in his everlasting blood. blood. I don't think people realize, some people don't realize the beauty and the joy of serving a living, uncreated Yah in spirit and in truth. Because when you serve him in spirit and in truth, it doesn't hide anything from you. You are protected. Hallelujah. You are protected. And he shows you things before they happen, brothers and sisters. Because that is how he works. Because he's a mighty, 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 mighty God. And we love him very, very much. So I wanted to come and do this video, brothers and sisters, concerning this skin outbreak we know we talk about you know talk about in various vision about skin leprosy and this could very well be they're going to probably think it's leprosy because the, the the antifungal is not working it looks fungal it looks fungally but the medication weren't working let your anchor hold in jesus christ of nazareth be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah. Just like Enoch, you're going to need him. All praises. All beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus Christ, precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen. Let us say the benediction together. The benediction is Jude chapter 1. That's Jude chapter 1, verses 24 to 25. Uh, if you know it out of your heads, please say it with me. If you don't know it, you will get to learn it. If you've got your Bibles, please read along. We agree with the servant of the Most High, Yah, for the Jude, how he expresses the power and majesty of our uncreated, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yah hallelujah the Bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forevermore amen and amen amen blessings amen